So what we have here is how to use Adobe Animate and how to start it off. Um, everybody's going to be a little different. I know with your Chromebooks it's going to look a little, um, you know, a little different than what I'm doing with MacBook. But for me, I get on the Finder. Um, I look for applications. So whatever the best way is to find your applications, it might be on your screen. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, but when we do get to it, uh, with animate, we'll open it up, double click on it. Wait for it to pop up. Skip some of these things when it comes to uh, different types of downloads with it. Don't, it doesn't really matter. That's some more just unique features that aren't going to help us a whole lot, especially in the beginning. Maybe at some point, but no need for it right now. Uh, X out of this. So what I want to do, two ways you can do it. Um, I could open or create new. If it's open, it's going to show your documents or applications. It's going to show your computer uh, for you guys, your Chromebook, and where you keep everything. So I don't want that though. I want to create a new one. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're looking for here is this. Um, I like to go with creating a new one. Um, I like to go with, let's see, what do we do here? Let's switch to, 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 we want the frame rate. I want 12 frames per second. Always when it comes to animation, 12 frames per second when we are doing this. Um, let's keep it, you got two ways to go about this. Uh, 1280 or 720. Now, keep it simple, let's go a little smaller at a six, actually, you know what, let's go 1280, 720, we'll do that one. So 1280 uh, is by 720 uh, pixels, uh, frame rate 12, so we'll keep it, I gotta remember that as, as we're gonna move on, because that's where we we'll use the whole semester. So I create it, <coughs> excuse me. So now we have our screen, um, so we this is our view. Now we can go. We can reduce this by 50%, so we can see just the white part is what we're looking at. Okay, and what I'm looking at down here. Let's reduce this a little bit. There it is. So I'm looking down here is actual the frame rate. So what frame? So um, we have 12 frames per second. So somewhere around here, if I enlarge it, I can see each one. There's 10. There's 12. Uh, that's within the one second uh, of the frail 12 frames per second. So this is my, what I'm working with, with what frame I'm going to be on at what time. Um, so that's what I need there. I have my tools to the top left uh, when it comes to using uh, paintbrush, um, you know, I'm using shapes, uh, various things, uh, paint bucket to color in, text if I want to use it. So couple things I can use here. So I have my tools here. I have my timeline, which is where I'm gonna have all my layers, what I'm going to do. Um, and then I have my actual box. Now, I can have things outside of the box as much as I want, but whatever's in the box is what go, it was what's gonna be animated. So if I went all the way down to 25%, you know, I could have all, a lot of stuff over here and just, move it every little bit to go through here so I could create everything here um, and move it across the screen and that will be an animation that I could do when it comes to a background whether it's a car driving by um, with the clouds going by so I can make a set of clouds and just move them and I'll show you that there's a trick to do this where you can do it uh, moving where it's very consistent um, so that makes an easy uh, type of background that doesn't mess with your character um, or the main character but it does add to the scene to give a little more quality towards it so once again what we're looking at is um, the tools the uh, the actual scene I can change once again to my different sizes now also what I like to do is move it out um, that's, that's just the thing I do where you have the whole animation part here that has the tools and everything. I'm usually, and I can move these around. Let me get rid of this. There we go. So 
I like moving things around where if I'm doing something, it's easier for me to uh, put something up here maybe. If I'm working down here, if I'm working in here, it, you'll see as you move on, you might want to do this. You don't have to. A lot of people also like it, have everything in just in keeping in there. Let's see if I can move back in. Uh, well, let me back in. Let me get this guy. Uh, there we go. So you can put it back in where it's a part of the whole thing. Okay. I like having the freedom to move around, but once again, that's your choice as far as how you want to do it. I don't think uh, I can. Yep. So I can move everything back here. I just hate doing that because, like I said, I just like the freedom of going through. Now, I can make it all the way big by the green where it fills the space. Or I can make oh, not that small. Or I can make it a little smaller where I can change. Oh, come on. There we go. Where I can change the size of it. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, with that, that's not a big deal right now. But once again, as you go on, as you're trying to go faster with making more frames, more frames, more frames to uh, to get what you want out of it when it comes to whether it's 10 seconds, 12 seconds, where you're doing a lot, basically when you're doing a lot of different frames in here, you might want to have this mobility to move it around and make it larger, change the uh, percentage, whatever the case is. So let me put it back in here real quick one more time. Uh, let me find out where the guy is to do it. Here, let's do this. Make my life easier, right? Oh, he's not going to do it. So, I'm, oh, there he is. Good. Okay. So, once you do on a paintbrush, you're going to see uh, different selecting tools here. Now, we're going to talk about this in a little bit, but I just want to kind of give you an idea, opening up a document, seeing what you have. And then, if you want to save this, You'll go up to file. Now, I don't do shortcuts right now with you guys. I want you to learn how to go through everything uh, just as is. And then when you get used to it, then you can do, you know, command, command S or command C or command V. Uh, learn to do the shortcuts. And when you do this also, like when I do the file save, it has uh, the command S or, you know, that little sign S um, on it. Um, and that might change on your Chromebook. It depends on... Uh, what it looks like now I'm a little um, unaware of what you have for the Chromebook so I'm used to using the MacBooks and where if you were at school at, uh, you would also use the uh, the MacBooks also or not the MacBooks but the iMacs so um, I'm used to the Macs I'm not used to the Chromebooks so this is all new to us also how you would go through this but um, if you can't find any shortcuts uh, that's why all these tabs are here. So if I go file save, um, what it's going to do is going to bring up. Now we can do it this way, or I enlarge it, where it brings up you know your documents, where on your computer you want to save it to. So um, I had a little trouble last year with students where they wanted to do shortcuts all the time, but when they had to go back and find their uh, their documents, if they could, if it wasn't saved in Animate, um, when it came to the recently opened. Uh, they couldn't find it. So I don't want you guys searching. I want you guys to know the basic part of where these are located so you can save in a certain part. So me, I would save in animation one. Uh, where's my animation one? Down there. Now I have a lot of files in here uh, for you guys, but I'm not worried about it right now. So you would save it. You can change your name. We're going to keep it as a FLA for right now. We'll talk about later on. Um, changing that format or moving it but we're not going to go into that right now right now it's just let's learn adobe animate and um how to save so all right and that is it